can you please walk us through the process of how your bone broth is made? Yes. So the key with bone broth, in my humble opinion, <laughs> is um, it's really important how it's sourced because you are what you eat. So you got to be careful with sourcing. Um, we're really good at reputably, reputably sourcing everything. Um, but the whole cook process, low and slow is the name of the game. You never want to cook anything, you know, on high heat or fast because the magic that happens from bone broth is the long cook process. So having that long cook process breaks down the bone, which makes gelatin, which is cooked collagen. So we cook it for at least 24 hours. And like I said, low and slow for all the bones to break down, whatever, you know, vegetables we're using in whichever skew. And um, then after that, it goes into the pouch. And then the pouch is a retort pouch. So then the temperature gets brought up slightly on the pouch, once again, low and slow to be made shelf stable without preservatives and back down. And then you have a shelf stable bone broth, which to me has been a huge game changer for my company personally and Primal Vor for a number of reasons. Like it's so easy for the bone broth to go bad during shipping. It's so easy for it to go bad in your fridge. And then the whole fridge, freezer, fridge, freezer, then you just have an unusable product. And I went back and forth on this on my own journey with Beauty and the Broth and went apples to apples on freshness. And if you really, you know, dig through both, it's, it's the same exact thing, except one has a way bigger advantage that I think keeps germs away. Yeah, yeah, that totally resonates. So do you use, I know you have a few different recipes. Do you use specific types of bones in each recipe? I'm assuming you probably got to use a large amount of the chicken and the duck because they're kind of smaller animals. Hi there. Hey. <laughs> I didn't know this was a two-person podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we tend to use the bones with the most um, collagen. So for the chicken, it would be the backbone as well as something like a duck. And for the beef, we tend to use the marrow bones, the femur bones. The, the uh, thickest of bones within the animal tends to ex have like the most benefit. Got it. I did not know that. <laughs> 